Hello and welcome to LearningEngineer.com, where we engineer learning for efficiency. My name is Michael Langdon, and today what I want to do is show you how to build your own web browser in Sharp Develop using C Sharp. Before I begin that though, I do need to take you through something, and that's because the web browser control that Sharp Develop uses defaults to Internet Explorer 7. And if you've ever tried to use it, it doesn't really load much of anything. And so what we need to do is we need to actually go into the registry of the computer we're doing our web, web browser on. And if you create a piece of software with the web, web browser, your installation is going to need to make these registry, registry changes as well if you want your web browser to load something useful. And so the first thing I'm going to do is show you the web page where this is on. So if you go to stackoverflow.com forward slash questions forward slash 276 633 forward slash web browser hyphen control hyphen doesn't hyphen display hyphen website hyphen correctly. So that's the, th that's the website and basically what we need to do is we need to add a D, new D word value to these two keys and to give the name of our executable file so that it will actually emulate Internet Explorer 11. Now this says we should add 2AF9. I tried that and it didn't work so I simply added 2AF8 and that did in fact work. So the first thing I did was open up a command prompt and just typed in regedit and that loaded my reg, regedit and we the first one is h key current user then so that then software then microsoft then internet explorer then main then feature control and then feature browser emulation and then what I do here is I click that and I click new and I click D word 32 bit value. And what I'm going to do is name this uh, we're just going to name this web browser one.exe because that will be the name. I've already done this with kiosk program and then hit enter and then if I double click on this this will let me change this and I'm going to type in 2 AF 8 and then click enter and I also need to do the same thing because this is H key current user you also need to do the same thing which H key local machine so we go software Microsoft um, Internet Explorer, main, um, feature control, and what is it? Feature emulation. I have to go back and check. Internet Explorer, main feature control, feature browser emulation. So main feature control is what I'm looking for. Explore, main feature control, and then feature browser emulation. So feature browser emulation, there it is. Okay. And I'm just going to do the same thing here. Right click, new, D word value, web browser. 1.exe double click and then 2af8 click OK and that should be it so let me just make sure I got the same one web browser 2b's web browser 2 okay so there we go so that's there so once I've done that I can close this I can close this and now I can start my new solution And this isn't going to be anything complicated. It'll just be a straightforward Windows application. We'll name it Web Browser 
one and then that will create web browser one dot exe so create and then we're just going to go to design so I'm going to click on my main form here I'm going to click here and I'm going to say load and I'm going to say and what I want to do is type in main form underscore load here okay so main form underscore load hit enter and you can see there it is now so this is my main form underscore load and the code for that is right here so I want it to tell web browser one to navigate and I'm going to have it navigate to this very first page. So I'm going to copy that and I'm going to paste it. Control V. Okay, now at first it's not going to be happy with this because I don't have a control in there called web browser. So now what I want to do is come back here and simply go back to where it said web browser, which is right here and drag this and drop this on here and I just want to make sure that the name is web browser one it is so that's good and then what I want to do is come to here and I want to enter in here so I need to go back here and just see what I'm doing so web browser one navigating that's our first one and I might as well just copy this right away Let's see so then we come back here and we want to go navigating and we go web browser one underscore navigating hit enter and we just paste this code into here oops control v and what this does is while it's navigating, it's going to say navigating in the form window. So I go back to design, click on this again, come back here, and this is web browser documented completed. So web browser one underscore document completed. So I'm going to copy this. come back here and in here find document completed there it is and type in web browser one document completed hit enter and again I can just paste this into here and then this tells me it's loaded so what this does I'm going to quick save this is this changes so it changes to navigating and then it tells me it's loaded so really this is all ready and set to go so if I just simply click here it should work and there it is now obviously this is very simple there's no text box for you to do navigation but that would be fairly simple to do it would just be a matter of changing the navigation code to whatever website you wanted it to go to so that's just how to create a simple kiosk like web browser and you can see it works okay. So it works just like a modern web browser would. So this is learningengineer.com. That's how to make a quick and easy web browser that has limited capabilities using Sharp Develop.